ultimate doomstruction! There is no greater satisfaction than that of triumph forged on the battlefield. Isn't it glorious? So the four men piled into Birdie and off they went. Ah, uh, perfect. Engines. Uh, which one should we take? This one here has a carriage, sir. It should hold all of us. Perfect. scrambled out of Henrietta and ran through the station to the other side. There they saw a strange little purple engine with a coach coupled to his front. Uh, use that engine. Is this the Culty Fell incline? Is this how we get to the Culty Fell? Uh, yes? Come here. The men scrambled aboard Culty's coach and off they went. The Fell Incline is the tallest mountain on Sodor. It is a popular destination for tourists who enjoy trying to hike up its backside. If some tourists are not so brave, they may instead take the Culty Fell Railway. <laughs> is there's our war winner loaded onto the train what well, I, I can't pull that it's too dangerous and it looks far too heavy for an engine like me to pull i could slip or turn over you will do as you are told and load it onto the train and so it was done
managed to briefly fall asleep. He was dreaming of the time that Edward had rescued him when he had become a runaway by mistake. James had instructed Diesel to keep an eye on the rails behind him in order to make sure he was not captured by Diesels while he slept. What James did not realize is that his brakes had not been set properly, and as a result he had rolled backwards a few feet, obstructing Diesel's view of the track. Accordingly, Diesel rolled backwards. James snapped awake. Ah, you woke me up. This whole thing is all your fault. It's your fault Edward is dead. It's your fault we're all shoved in here. Ah, it's all you and your kind. You Diesels, you think you're all superior to us. Ah, well, you're not, okay? I am sick to death of your kind coming in and stealing my work. Nobody wants you here, so you should just leave. Now, go, leave. No one wants you here. Get out, go. Now, leave. I hate you. Flashbacks that I had, had long hope, but that this was enough. This is amazing. I have to ask, why in Gamera's gargantuan goalpost did they make a sequel? Wow, this episode rubbed me the wrong way. You know, I have a spare pair of rubber gloves as well as a straight jacket in the closet if you want to borrow it. No, I won't say how I got it. Everyone thinks I've gone soft and lost my edge. I'll show them who's gone soft. I'll show them all. Courtney was only pretending to be my friend? Ugh, how did I not see that? She's going down. It's not like Mike to enjoy someone else's misery, even if it is Courtney's. Hmm. When Alejandro was making that big goodbye speech, he said there was greater evil lurking. He also said the truth is in the art. Man, typical Alejandro. Hot and infuriating, right to the end. I knew my dream was a sign. My whole life, Jose has been better than me at everything. Academics, sports, and yes, even personal grooming. Well, not this time. Obviously, the votes weren't tampered with. I feel like a fly at a frog banquet. They're all out to get me. <sighs> well, time to go stage break out. Why in the name of all things Celestia are we looking for a friggin' rock? It's animated too. I can't find nothing. I can't find this Roger talking about. They like finding a pebble in a haystack. Stop complaining! So this movie doesn't have the one cameo that it should have. I don't like the way you said that word. The way you say that word makes me think of dark jokes, and I don't like making dark jokes. Are you doing a TikTok? I don't know if I'm strong enough for this. Yes, because it would have switched the movie from family-friendly magical stuff to R-rated gory stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 